Hi, I'm Steph, and I am out here at Solitude Mountain skiing. I've skied two days so far, uh, and this is our third day. I'm out here with my friend Jason, and um, it is five degrees right now, by the way, so sorry if my breath is in, in, in my face. <laughs> um, but I'm all geared up for skiing, so I'm actually pretty toasty warm. We had some snow yesterday, so we should have a nice powder day on the mountain. I don't really know what that means, but I think I said it right. <laughs> um, so my friend Jason's with me, but he's actually going to be be going to get uh, a boot fitting this morning at a place called Dale Boots. So every time he goes skiing, he really loves to ski, but his feet are always very uncomfortable because he has wider feet and the rental boots just aren't cutting it. So um, he's actually going to go get um, some some a fitting and so I asked him to get some footage hopefully he'll get some cool footage of what that looks like because that's really interesting but for me the rental boots have not been a problem so I haven't kind of gotten that need to buy boots all right so it's almost time for the lifts to open today and I want to get right on there right away so let's go I'm okay, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I was, it, it just happened right all at one second. I landed softly though. Yeah. Thank you. Yourself. What? That's a full yard self. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I actually um, cut my morning a little bit shorter than um, than typical. Um, I finished skiing about 11. Uh, two reasons. It was very, very cold. <laughs> um, it was really, really cold. The water in my um, hydration pack froze in the tube, so I couldn't drink from it. Uh, another big reason is I crashed. <laughs> um, there was a skier that um, was going real fast down a slope and I, I saw him on the side. I was over on the left and he was kind of towards the middle and, and I had my eyes on him, um, but he made this wide turn real fast in front of me, like right in front of me. And I was kind of close to the side of the trail in general. So there's really nowhere for me to go. And it was just all so fast and I crashed right into him or he crashed into me. 
it's hard to say, um, but uh, but all my, my skis fell off and then my poles fell off. And um, so he helped me up, you know, it was all fine. And I didn't get hurt, by the way, I wasn't hurt. And after I went back out, I just, my confidence is kind of like uh, bruised a little bit because uh, I've never crashed into another skier. And that's kind of a very, like, I know how to fall if I'm like out of control, but like, it scares me to like <laughs> get hit by someone and not, you know, not like I can't control that. So, um, you know, something I was a little apprehensive about did happen. So I'm a little like um, nervous about it happening again. I think I I'll be fine after lunch. I just needed to take a breather. I'm actually watching the footage right now of <laughs> the crash because I actually had footage of it. Again, I'm not hurt. Just need to take a breather. to realize that it's a ski locker downstairs for the skis and the poles, but the boots don't count. So what we are pretty sure is supposed to happen is you keep your skis and the poles in the locker and then you take your boots with you to your room. Um, that was not clear um, in the like stuff with the, the room. Maybe that's such a newbie thing and that they're like, that's an obvious thing that it's a ski locker. So why would you keep your boots in it? Well, that's us. We thought you kept your boots in there, but we have our boots on and we're gonna take them off in the comfort of our room. The lifts close at four every day. So we, um, I think we're back in the room, it's 4.41. So we got a little bit um, of extra time uh, out there and it was great. So this morning it was really cold and Jason um, was getting his boot fitting 
And then um, after lunch, we went out again together and we did a bunch of runs. We also have this really cool app called Slopes where it keeps track of all the runs that you do and it doesn't kill your battery, so that's awesome. So we learned that the Slopes app works best on the watch. It will detect more like um, health information. So you can start it even before you get to the slopes, which is nice. So I just started it and it's gonna keep track until I end it. I like that we can kind of see exactly the maps of what we did and kind of the order we did things in. And we also, um, I also have an app called Relive where you can then have it like make a 3D video of what you did. So as a, as a um, tech person, I, I think those things are really cool. So we have one more day at Solitude Mountain tomorrow and um, I'm excited. We're gonna get right early. Um, on the slopes and it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. Um, but thanks for joining and I hope you have a great day.